okay so in this class we are going to talk about how to use if statement and vin lookup in excel right so if statement is a conditional statement that makes you do logical comparison between conditions so quickly in this cell we want to use the if function to find out if this cell k3 has apple as the the fruit or the word in it so to do that quickly you type equal to then if then into brackets uh, k you select the cell name which is k3 equal to the word apple so if it's equal to the word apple return either true or false so if it's equal to the word apple then the answer should be either true or false so we get through so we get true which means that yes this cell contains the word apple let's try to change okay so we get false because the spelling is wrong right apple correct right so the next condition is we want to find out if truly this cell contains mango or anything else so i type select the cell equal to let me write orange true or false okay so i get false because the cell contains the fruit mango not oranges so if you don't want to use true or false you can use either yes or no so yes or no so mind you if you are typing any word apart from true or false that word should be in double quotes okay right so no correct then the last if function that we want to use is let's check this cell to see if uh, the cell has a value greater than 300 right comma yes it is greater than 300 or no it is equal to 300 right i forgot to bring the quotes here okay so no it is equal to 300 yes so this cell per our function or if statement is not greater than 300 so with the answer you can provide any answer that you want okay and excel will evaluate it for you okay so the next thing that we'll talk about is nested if statement so nested if means or it simply means that you are writing an if statement inside another if statement and in our example we are going to evaluate the marks of students to grade them according to the max or the range that we've set so if you're a teacher and you want to use excel to to grade your students you can use if function to do that so first of all you just type equal to if then you close your bracket then inside the bracket uh, we want so our range will be any value equal to or greater than 
80 is A. So we select this cell, then we want the value to be greater than or equal to 80. So if a student gets a grade of 80 or more, then it should grade the student with A. Then comma, you write your second if statement. If again, then into brackets again, then inside the brackets, you write uh, if, let's say, K9, which is the cell that we are dealing with. K9, K9 is greater than 70, then the student got what B. Right. You bring another if statement. If K9 again into brackets. If K9 again is greater than 60. Then the student got C. Right. Another if statement into brackets. If K9 is greater than 40 then it means the student got D or F so by this conditional statement all that we are trying to tell Excel is that if any student gets a mark equal to or greater than 80 then evaluate or give the student a grade of a if any student gets a grade le greater than 70 but less than 80 then give the student a grade of b if any student gets a mark of a mark greater than 60 or equal to 60 no greater than 60 then give that student a grade of c and if a student gets a grade greater than 40 but less than 60 then you give the student a grade of d else anything less than 40 give the student f so a the student got 80 so the mark is a but here i'll not type the formula again i'll just do drag so i'll just click on the first formula come to the edge here and drag it so you see that our records will evaluate based on our conditional format so let's look at something here if a student gets any record okay greater than 60 so 60 and below is d but then we don't want it that way we want equal to 60 or greater than 60 then equal to 40 or greater than 40 so that when a student gets 40 or 60 it evaluates to c all right so let's say this student got 50 you see that d okay so if you are a teacher you can use this to design a simple grading system for your students right so quickly let's talk about how to use vlookup to find uh, 
information in our table. So VLOOKUP lets you look up a value in a column on the left, then returns information in another column to the right. So this is the function. And the first one is what do you want to look for? So this cell will provide what you want to look for. Then the second parameter is where do you want to look for it? So in which cell range do you want to look for? the first parameter then the third parameter is if you find it how many columns to the right do you want to get the value for it then the last one is false that is do you want an exact or approximate match right so quickly let's find the v lookup or the value for banana or the fruit bananas so equal to v lookup into brackets so our first parameter is what value to look up so we are looking for banana so this is what we are looking for comma then in what table array so we are selecting all these we are looking into all these table or all these records then after looking through the records where do you want to find the value of banana in the column 2 right so first column second column so that's why we are select we are putting two so if these values were to be in column three we will just type three here then comma again then true or false so true means you want an approximate match then false means you want an exact match so we will put false there because we want an exact match when you are done you just press enter so now the value for bananas out of the record is 45 this is it so if you drop down and choose another two another fruit apples will give you 50 the value for apple is 50 so this brings us to the end of the if statement and vlookup class so once you understand this you can apply it to other functions or statements in Excel. Alright, so see you in the next class.